There are a lot of reasons to build a sustainable wardrobe. You're helping to lessen the fashion industry's carbon footprint, supporting fair workplace practices and conditions, you're doing something positive and ethical, and you're saving money in the long run. That all sounds great, but if this is the first time you're actually thinking about making your wardrobe more sustainable, you might be wondering, well, how do I actually do this? The good news is that it's not that hard, and in this video, I've got 10 tips to help you get started. I'm Brian Sakawa, you are watching He Spoke Style, and on this channel, I give you all the advice and inspiration you need to dress better, develop your personal style, and gain more confidence. All right, so what are we actually talking about when we're talking about a sustainable wardrobe? A sustainable wardrobe essentially refers to any clothes that are produced and consumed in an environmentally and socially conscious way. So the sustainability movement in fashion is a response to the fact that the fast fashion and fashion industries are responsible for a lot of bad things, which we'll get to in just a moment. One thing to understand as you start thinking about building a sustainable wardrobe is that technically there's no such thing as 100% sustainability because you know, after all, even the greenest companies out there use resources and have an impact on the environment and the people around them. Still though, it is possible to lessen that impact by building a sustainable wardrobe. So let's talk about why a sustainable wardrobe is important because it's one thing to suggest shopping sustainably, but another to really understand the full impact of doing so. Now, to give you a better idea of why it's so important, here are a few quick facts and statistics about the fast fashion industry. Fast fashion is responsible for as much as 10% of all carbon emissions worldwide, and that is mostly due to shipping and production. 20% of all wastewater in the world is the result of dyeing and treating fabrics. Approximately 87% of fibers used in textile production either end up in a landfill or are incinerated, which leads to further air pollution. Synthetic materials like polyester and microfibers are not biodegradable and end up dumped in oceans where they can remain for decades. And this information comes directly from two studies, this one and this one, that are also linked down below in the description. Sustainable fashion exists to help reverse, control, and minimize the negative effects of the fashion industry. For example, unlike fast fashion brands, eco-friendly clothing is constructed with organic materials. These materials are renewable and produced in a way that's safe for factory employees and the environment. Now, it's okay if you already have non-sustainable clothes in the closet, but it never hurts to be aware of the environmental and social impact of the things we buy and wear. By keeping sustainability in mind when you shop, you can make a difference in lessening those problems. Okay, so the big question now is, how do you actually build a sustainable wardrobe? Well, here are 10 tips to help you get started. Tip number one is to organize and plan your wardrobe. So the first step is to actually take a step back. Look at what you already own and try to see those clothes in a new light. Look at the tags, see how they're made, what materials are used, are there any dyes involved? And when you do that, ask yourself what kind of impact those clothes might have on the environment. Some pieces that you already have might be semi-sustainable, like anything made from organic cotton or wool. Others might have been locally sourced and produced, which would mean that they have a smaller carbon footprint. The goal here isn't to identify the bad things in your wardrobe and toss them out. It's to figure out what you have and see where there's room to improve upon as you start acquiring more pieces through the lens of building a more sustainable wardrobe. Tip number two is to deal with unused excess. So a lot of people have items in their closet from long ago that either don't fit anymore or aren't really their current style. So if that sounds like you, chances are you have clothes you no longer wear that are just taking up space in your closet. The first thing you might think to do is to get rid of them. And while getting rid of them might sound like a good idea, you need to make sure that you do it in an environmentally safe way. Because if you don't, that shirt or pair of Levi's jeans could just end up in a landfill somewhere. If your clothes are in good shape, instead of just throwing them in the trash, which is very easy to do, ask around if anyone you know is interested in taking them off your hands. If not, consider donating them to places like the Salvation Army, Goodwill, or another local thrift store, because part of promoting sustainable fashion and sustainability in general is about recycling and reusing things. And then, you know, say you're not quite sure if you're ready to get rid of something yet. Set it aside for a few weeks, and then after that time, 
If you haven't worn it or even thought about it, go ahead and donate it as well. Remember, the goal here is to use what you have, recycle what you don't need, and reduce excess. Tip number three is to fix up and repair worn items. Even the best construction and highest quality garments won't hold up forever, no matter how well you take care of them. If you're handy with a needle and thread or a sewing machine, you can always do some of these repairs yourself. Otherwise, if not, find a tailor to fix up the clothing instead. Now, if something you love is completely beyond repair, do not immediately throw it away. Instead, consider repurposing it into something more functional or decorative. Depending on the garment, you might be able to use parts of it to make a dog toy or convert it to rags. If it's really worn out though, consider donating it to a local animal shelter. Many shelters will take old, unusable clothing and blankets since they make great beds for the animals. Tip number four is to rethink how you shop and research brands thoroughly. The next time you go shopping for clothes, Think about what you need and where it's coming from. A lot of people impulse shop and quickly buy things to add to their wardrobe on a whim, but newsflash, <laughs> this is not the most sustainable way to shop. Instead, try to have a solid idea of what would fit your style and make your wardrobe even better than before. Once you've settled on what you need, do some research into ethical brands that offer those types of clothes, see how they get the materials and if the working conditions and wages are good for their employees. One way to make sure you're choosing a good brand is if they mention locally sourced and produced on their labels or website. Another option is to go with brands that produce made to measure garments since those usually mean less waste and no overproduction. Tip number five is to purchase custom menswear. So there are several benefits to buying bespoke or made to measure menswear, especially if the alternative is going with a major chain store or fast fashion brand. For one thing, custom-made clothing doesn't have the same problem with overproduction that's common with many fast fashion brands. With custom-tailored menswear, you can build a sustainable wardrobe that suits your preferences and fits exactly the way you want it to without contributing to excess waste. Many made-to-measure shops, including our own, offer high-quality custom garments ranging from suits, jackets, shirts, outerwear, knitwear, shoes, and accessories. And because these garments are not mass-produced, you can be assured that every piece is made with the best craftsmanship and a focus on style and longevity. Tip number six is to view your wardrobe as an investment. When we talk about a sustainable wardrobe, we're talking about one that's meant to last a long time. So every time you go shopping for new clothes, consider each item you're looking at as an investment. Sustainable and eco-friendly clothing can be more expensive than what you, know, you find at most retailers, but the trade-off is that it will hold up much longer. This gives it a much lower cost per wear ratio, which in other words means it pays for itself over time and several times over. Tip number seven is to think outside the box. There are certain wardrobe essentials that you have to have, but you know that doesn't mean that you can't get creative with it. Because one way to build a sustainable wardrobe is to keep an open mind when you're shopping. If you have those basics and those staples in your closet and you've been watching this channel for a long time, you know just how versatile those pieces can be. But you can expand that even more if you add a couple statement pieces into the mix. Tip number eight is to take care of your clothes. Focusing on quality and fabric and construction is one way to build a sustainable wardrobe, but it's not the only thing that matters. It's easy to toss dirty clothes in the washing machine and dryer, but it's not necessarily a good idea. Most clothes have specific washing instructions and some even suggest washing them alone or leaving them out to air dry or using a tumble dry low cycle. And while you're at it, try to use detergents that are non-toxic or derived from plants since they're better for the environment. And when it comes to dry cleaning your suits and sport coats, do this sparingly and only when you absolutely need to. It might be an extra step now, but taking care of your clothing properly will ensure that they last a lot longer. Tip number nine is to avoid and buy certain fabrics. An eco-friendly or sustainable wardrobe should mainly consist of natural or organic materials such as hemp, cotton, and wool. These fabrics are better than synthetic ones because they can break down naturally and compost cleanly into the environment. Plus, certain plastics can leach harmful chemicals into the air, which leads to more pollution. Check if your clothes have any dyes. Eco-friendly dyes are fine, but there are a lot more toxic dyes out there. And some clothing brands market their products as eco-friendly, without taking into consideration the production process or dyes used. So do your research. When building a sustainable wardrobe, look for official organic certifications like this. 
so you can be sure that your clothes are truly eco-friendly. Tip number 10 is to shop vintage. You can find an incredible number of unique styles, designs, and brands at estate sales, thrift shops, and even online. eBay is a great place for that. Plus, since you're essentially recycling something that already exists, you're promoting sustainability. Remember, shopping vintage doesn't mean sacrificing quality. In fact, to the contrary, a lot of vintage items are higher quality because they've held up for so long. And chances are, they'll last a good deal longer with proper care. More brands than ever have shifted gears to focus on sourcing, designing, producing, and distributing sustainable clothing. Once you know what to look for and what to avoid, building a sustainable menswear wardrobe can actually be quite easy. When you shop sustainably, you have the opportunity to help out the environment, support fair labor practices, safe working conditions, and cut down on waste. All it takes is that first step. Here at He Spoke Style, we truly believe in all those things, and it's one of the reasons I'm constantly preaching about building a wardrobe full of versatile basics. And it's also why we wanted to be able to offer those pieces directly to you via the HSS shop. Of course, we're committed to producing garments of the highest quality and construction that are built to last, I'm still wearing pieces that I had made almost 10 years ago, but sustainability is also very important to us. You know that the majority of what we offer is custom made and I would definitely recommend going that route, but we do also offer ready to wear sizing and even those pieces are made to order, so no excess waste. So if you've been thinking about building a sustainable wardrobe and want to fill that wardrobe with quality custom made pieces that will last many, many years, please check out the shop and what we have to offer. The team will take great care of you, I know, and you will look great, I promise. So click that link right over there to get started now.